Welcome to Big Guy Boards. Today we're going to be reviewing and talking about uh, the baboon Big Fish from Creation. Uh, we're going to be hearing from three different kind of um, takes on the board uh, from myself, a bigger surfer, heavier than me, and also someone in transitioning down from um, kind of beginner into intermediate boards. <laughs> Okay, so this is basically a really chunky fish template surfboard. It's designed for a heavier surfer um, coming down from long boards. Um, we'll hear from him uh, later on in the video. Um, just a bit about the board and my experience on it. So the board is 6'11, 23 and a half, 3 and 3 eighths. So hopefully, the first thing you'll notice is the thickness here. It's just a massively chunky board. Um, Here's the overall template. So this is the original board. Um, we're going to have a look at the kind of creation version later on in the video, but this is the original um, shaped in South Africa. Um, so quite a nicely pulled in tail, a um, bit of width through the nose, uh, just a really nicely balanced, nice template. It's got five fin, but I've only ridden it as a quad. Um, so my experience of the board, I started using this, I used it once, because um, the guy who owns the board said it'd be really good fun, he wanted me to try it out. Um, so I tried it as an alternative to a long board on small days. My first wave was just ridiculous. I was just, I was laughing out loud. Um, it's just stupidly fun. It's unbelievable how well it turns. For such a big chunky board, you can just go down the line, do little turns on the face, um, and it's, you know, it's, it's catching waves as well as the um, Donald Takeyama Model T, so that's what I usually have for tiny waves. So when the waves are, you know, almost too small for a your standard gravel board, so you know anything below waist high, I'm usually go for a long board. So I was on tiny waves on this, yeah. Easy to paddle, feels like a long board. Straight, easy to catch. You can catch every wave on it basically, and uh, down the line, yeah, just really fun. Loads of little turns, um, just unbelievably easy to turn. Um, so I, I kept using it, I had loads of fun on it and um, yeah I think now this is going to be my, um, well I'm going to get one shaped from creation um, and that's going to be now my kind of longboard alternative when it's tiny. Yeah. All right, this is the original baboon, and this is the original baboon. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you got this shaped in South Africa, uh, who's the yeah. shaper? It's Piri de Villiers, yeah. Piri de Villiers from Dream Surfboard. Okay. Yeah. And um, what did you what did you say to him when you got this shaped, and what did he kind of say to you about the board? Basically, what I wanted, Scott, is I wanted something for my frame. You yeah, know? I've got a heavy, I've got a heavy frame, you know, and I've always ridden long boards. I rode short boards when I was a lot, a lot younger and a lot yeah. fitter. So I wanted something that could support my weight, and I thought, you know what? I said, Perry, come on, man, sort a brother out. He basically said to me, Jacques, if you want volume. I've got an old 70s blank for you and he had this old 70s blank man that was literally going yellow and he said look I'll shape you something what, what what are you thinking and I said well I'd like something like a kind of a fishy kind of you know easy easy riding just chilled out board and this is what he came up with gave him the dimensions I wanted about 610 by 24 ish by 4 which I know is pretty <laughs> massive but but this is the beauty he came up with you know and she's an absolute dream. I mean, she's what? She's 23 and a half by three and a three quarter, I think. Three and three eighths. Three, three and three eighths, yeah. And she's just lovely. Now, I rode her in Cape Town. I rode her at Comiki, Long Beach. I rode her out at, at the Dunes. She's just a great board, you know. A lot of drive, could get a lot of speed out of her. And she just worked perfectly for me, you know, as a, as a heavy set guy. And what did he, you told me, he said something to you about the thickness in the, he kept a lot of thickness in the rail. What did he say to you about that? Yes, yeah, so he held the thickness in the rail so that he could keep the volume, spread the volume out because he thought my shoulders were really wide as yeah. well. So he was like, he's going to try and spread the volume as much as he can so that it can, so that it can float really well. And I mean, I, I weigh 130 kilos, as you know, and this yeah. board still floats me now. Yeah, yeah. You know? So yeah, she's an absolute beauty. Real beauty. Yeah. You know, I took her I took her out in Komiki one day, it must have been about a head and a half, you know, yeah. five, six foot and perfect. So it still goes in solid ways, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Still yeah. goes, still goes yeah. absolutely perfectly. Yeah. Beauty. Yeah. Right. This is a lovely board. Cheers, nice one, brother. No worries at all. <laughs>
yeah, just yeah, it just it looked awesome. It was a uh, like I say an old board from I think South Africa. I think it was originally shaped, wasn't it? It was a uh, probably nearly four inches thick and six eleven, but it was a uh, just sort of first wave caught just instantly wanted to turn and just allowing me to do that where I'd never sort of really experienced that before so it was like I thought it was just a bit of a fluke you know sort of get off like a Cheshire cat grin from here to here <laughs> but it was a uh, had a few more waves on it and we had another session on it as well didn't we and it was a uh, just amazing just knew it was a wicked board and I could have a lot of fun on something like that but just uh just was unable to get my little short arms around carrying it so yeah. it was a uh, sort of a uh, coming up with an idea of the fun side of things in that board but in in something a bit more modern and refined really wasn't it which so was where it uh, we went came to, from we went to louis at creation we showed him the original board explained what matt was getting out of it what he liked with the board and um louis came up with this so this is based on the original board that matt wrote louis just refined it so he's kind of I think it's very slightly thinner, he's refined the rails a bit as well, they're slightly more pulled down, um, I think he's got a bit more of a harder edge here, I think it was um, slightly more rounded rail there on the original, um, and he's just got a few tweaks here and there just to do it the way he wants, kind of wanted the board to be, how, how he think it would suit kind of a surfer like Matt. Yeah, first time first time in it was just uh, it was just like being back on Jacques board from South Africa it just just paddles really well um, just duck dives great and just just catching waves just as easy on that as what I am on my mouth but just just the minute you get up you just it just it's like it just wants to sort of turn on its own and you go with it you know I wasn't having to put loads of effort into getting that turn and stuff like that and just yeah, rather than just sort of going left or right on the wave, just to been able to, to sort of start doing some turns on waves and just, yeah, just every session, just coming out with a smile with it, just completely chuffed. Louis, Louis done a great job and, yeah, he's sort of, uh, I think he sort of captured our vision straight away when we when we sort of spoke about it and it's um, just great. Everyone loves it. Everyone that's had a go on it, everyone that's sees it uh it just yeah it's just wicked it just it just it's an awesome fun board and and works well in small you know been down in small surf at Saunton still and you know i'm sort of catching waves on that that i would still on a mouth or something a bit longer so it's yeah just so stoked with it yeah just really really good board